everybody, it's Hal, Quail Studios Guitar. Let's teach you mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys, and we're going to uh, show you the chords. So let's do that right now. Here's the first chord that we use. It's a D chord, regular D chord. And then we go to a G chord. And in my cover I did, I did this little, using that uh, bass note, hammer on to the second fret, hammer on to the second fret on the D string. And then we go to an A chord, just like that. And that's it. Those are the only chords in the first verse and the first chorus. Now when we get into the next part, we've got E, Cowboys like smoky old pool rooms and clear mountain mornings, A chord. And then we go to, after the A chord, we go to a B7. Now you could just go to a B chord, like that, or just a B7, like that. I like this one because it's, it's pretty relaxed. Now, let's go back to uh, the beginning. So we start with a D chord. Cowboys ain't easy to love and are harder to hold. Let me show you something here. I had a really hard time figuring out what I'm supposed to sing. So what I did was I wrote down, and you can see on this paper here, some of the notes that I made about what the different singers, Waylon and Willie, were singing. Uh, let's see. Cowboys ain't easy to love and they're harder to hold. To G. They'd, they'd rather give you a song than diamonds or gold. Now Willie starts singing right here. Uh, Lone Star Brett Buckles and old Freddie Levi's. And then he goes to, and each night begins a new day. If you don't understand him, this is a really interesting line. Let's see, A chord. If you, if you don't understand him. That's a G note, and that's the seventh of the chord. So I'm not going to play an A7 there. Because if you don't understand him, that's exactly the same note that he's singing. So I'm going to stay off of that note, and I'm just going to sing, If you don't understand him, so I'm going to play an A chord. If you don't understand him, and he don't die young, he'll probably just... Goes up to the G. Bum, 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 bum. So what he's doing there, Those are the notes in the A7 chord. He'll probably just, he'll probably just right away. And he goes to a D. Now, those notes, he goes up to the 7, just right, and then right down the scale, just right away. Mamas, then they sing the chorus, right? Mamas, don't let your baby go up to be cowboy. So Waylon sings Cowboys from the A note up to the B note, which is the third of the chord. Cowboys, don't let them pick guitar. Don't let them, that's there's a G again. Don't let them pick guitars, drive them old trucks. Let them be doctors and lawyers and such. That's the third of the chord. Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. D, going down to G. Cowboys. Cause I'll never stay home. There's the G again, the seventh of the chord. It sounds really good that way. Cause I'll never stay home, and they're always alone. Even with someone they love. Same thing. That same melody, even with someone they love. And 
then we go right into cowboys and smoky old pool rooms and clear mountain morning. What they do is they go right to the key change from a D to an E, which is if you don't know how to do that, just practice a little bit and you can lock in there. Now, if you want to, I guess you could do. You could do like a B7 to prepare your head to get into that key of E. Cowboys like smoky old pool rooms and clear mountain mornings. Now, this melody is a little bit different. Cowboys, that's a B note. Moving clear mountain mornings. Little warm puppies, children and girls of the night. That was Waylon. Let's see. Them that don't know him won't like him, and them that do sometimes won't know how to take him. I'll show you in just a second how I had to figure this out, how to do that timing right there. I listened to it a bunch of times, but it just didn't flow for me, so I had to put some marks on a lead sheet, and I'll show you what it looks like. He ain't wrong, he ain't, he's just different, but his pride won't let him do things, do things to make you think he's right. Okay, so let me show you the lead sheet here. So right here, here's the lead sheet that I was looking at. And what you've got is you've got um, these slashes over the words. Cowboys ain't easy to love and they're harder to hold. So we got four, one, two, three. Now, okay, <laughs> it's in three, four time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe it's in six, eight time. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Six. One, two, three, four. It could be like one, two, three, 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 one. I don't like to do the same strum. I like to do like a six beat strum there. So what I'm doing is I'm um, doing the accent on one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. So every six beats I hit that bass note. One, two, three, one, two, and I do an accent on the fourth beat. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 They'd rather give you a song and dance with you. Three, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's what I do there for that strum. It's like hit the bass note, one, two, three. And I do a really light down, up, down, up, one, down, up, down, up, down, one. So bass note, down, up, down, up, strum hard, down, up, down, up, bass note, down, up, down, up, strum hard, down, up, bass note. A chord. One, two, three, one, two. Bum, 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 dum, dum, da, 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 same thing happens with the E chords. Now you'll notice on the lead sheet I have these strums. Cowboys ain't easy to love and they're harder to hold. So if you need to know where those three beats are, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, just look at the lead sheet. You'll find the lead sheet in my book, Quail Studios Music and Lead Sheets. Uh, you can get it at Patreon, you can get it at Subscribestar, and you can email me and get it um, or, you know, do a donation through the PayPal link in the description to get the lead sheet and also a copy of the, the notes I made for the melody in case you want it. Now, I know there's no stems and value, note values and everything, but I, I put the dots on there when the notes went up and I put the dots on there when the notes went down so I could figure out, you know, basically where the melody went 
and what the curve was and all that kind of stuff and, and figure out what notes I'm playing. So you can have both of those. All right, so uh, let's see, on the E chord, same thing. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. A chord. B7. And goes up. So the whole thing is basically like that. You just uh, do that one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, and two, and three, and one, and two, and three, and one, and two, and three, and one, and two, and three, like that. Let's see the next lead sheet, the second page here, so you can see the chorus with the E chords. Right? Mama. gonna go through that whole thing because <laughs> I'll probably get a copyright strike if I do. So this is what I do on the uh... when I do an alternate bass I do the bass note and then on the next string up like that I do a hammer on there on the G, hammer on to the second fret, and then A, it's kind of tricky isn't it, here let's show you this way. You can do it like that. Or you can do it like this. Let's show you a different perspective over here. On the G. Bass note on the E string, hammer on the A string, hammer on the D string, D string open. A chord. Now let's go to the E chord. Show you we can do that. You can hammer on to the A string, E, A string, oops, missed it. A chord, same thing. I'm putting my finger over there because I'm touching that E string so it doesn't play. That, I do that a lot. B7 chord. The thumb on the top is stopping that uh, that low E string from playing. I don't really like to do an alternate bass here because that's the third of the chord. You got the root and you got the third. It doesn't sound as good. Oh there I can do that. I can do the B to the F sharp which is on the second fret on the E string. That's the fifth of the chord. Goes to an E. Okay. So I hope you have fun with this song. It's really great. <laughs> Thanks for being here. See ya. Bye.